You can't put on shows like Shoko Stevenson versus the Fed and start throwing shade at the likes of Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul fan. Don't throw stones if you live in a glass house. Daniel Dubois needs a complete makeup. Go to the High Street West End, get some new clothes, get a completely new promoters, yeah? Because big men, yeah, they're doing you a disservice, yeah? <music>
15 or top 10 fighters. I don't want to see him against anyone else. Man. Yeah, and when we're talking top 15, we're talking Oscar Rifas, we're talking Otto Wallin, we're talking Huey Fury, you know, those sort of fighters. I don't want to see him up against anyone else. Man. Yeah, or any of these other uh, other guys, top 20 guys. No. Moreover, um, for me, Daniel Dubois would become world champion in the future. A lot of people are skeptical about that. I believe he will become world champion. Um, he's 22, 23 years of age, and I think that he can develop and grow into a, a fighting or sort of a world champion because the world champions or the people at the top of his game happen to be over 30s or 30s over. Um, the young ones are what is Joseph Parker, he's just 27, 28, I think. Um, Daniel Dubois is um, what 23 years of age. Not sure how, fit, how old Philip Erkovich is, but he seems pretty young to me. Um, David Adelaide seems pretty young as well. Who else? No, barely anybody else. Unless there's a huge amount of, um, or there's a, there's a new crop of uh, fighters coming out from the Olympics that really, you know, that are amazing. But, you know, so last Olympics, what was it? Anti, well, not last Olympics, what the Olympics before last, Anthony Joshua, like, was, well, was sort of the rare in name, won a gold medal, um, etc. So, We'll see who comes out of the Olympics, but Daniel Dubois, in my opinion, should be, will become world champion. But on the undercard of Daniel Dubois, we've got Tommy Fury. Now, Tommy Fury, for those of you guys, let me let me bring in context, okay? Just 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 to map out his career, Tommy Fury um, is the brother of Tyson Fury. He, he grew up in a fighting environment. His father fought. His uncle, I think, his uncle Peter Fury fought. Um, but he grew up in in, in a sort of a fighting um, background, um, a travelling community, who like up in the north of of England. Boom, yeah. He gets older. Tyson Fury becomes world champion, and he decides, and he gets a call up from Love Island. Yeah, after a few amateur boxing fights and a few pro fights, he gets to Love Island. Boom. I'm not sure how I didn't watch Love Island, so I don't know how what he did, but. Comes out of Love Island, big profile, boom. A couple of fights later, well, fight. Look, he, then he decided to, pre, you know, proceed with his boxing career. Had a couple of fights. Lo and behold, he was calling out Jake Paul. Why is he calling out Jake Paul? I have no idea. Well, I do actually. To be fair, he was. He just wants the payday. He wants payday. Yeah. He, I, I need to understand his mindset because right now. If you're if you're a fighter that's coming up the ranks and you want to become, uh, what what do you want to become? That's a good, th let's start off with that. What does he want to become? If he wants to become a world champion, first and foremost, um, the people who have built so what, um, Bivol, Baturbiev, um, etc. You know the way there, um, at, at light heavyweight. So he'd always become world title. He needs to fight for the other titles, the British title, etc. He needs the he needs accumulation of tough fights. Cool. Where how is Jake Paul going to put you in a position where he's going to take you one step closer to a British title? He ain't even British. Yeah, he's not ranked. He's not British. He's only just going to build up your profile and make you more money, which is a good which. Well, okay, it's beneficial, but at the end of the day, you're an active fighter. He's a YouTuber, like. He, why would he fight you anyway? You, he, I, I, this is mind boggling. Why could Jake Paul, with the profile that he's on, he, he, he generates sort of the, the top three amount of boxers in, throughout the world? The only people that generate more money than Jake Paul is Canelo Alvarez and Anthony Joshua. I have no idea why he wants to pursue that fight. Well, I didn't, but like, it doesn't make sense for Jake Paul to want to fight him. High risk little reward literally little reward the only the only reward is that if you beat him you actually beat an active boxer and one of Tyson Fury's family members you know the way there but uh, there's very little in it for him he might as well just fight these, these sort of people so he needs to get Jake Paul out of his mouth he needs to build up himself in terms of his his, his own profile as, as opposed to just piggybacking off somebody else's profile um, and then he needs to just go up the rankings who has a British, who has English title? Let's start off with the English title. Who has English title? Dan Aziz, yeah? My boy Dan Aziz, Dan Aziz, it, like, should, he should be, Dan Aziz is looking upwards for the, for the um, British title, okay? If 
you go up the rankings, yeah, and let's say you get into a position where you're eligible for the English title, Dan Aziz is more than happy to fight you. More than happy to fight you, yeah? Because you're on the same level as him at that point, and you can, and he can build up his profile at the same time. And it puts him in a position where he can then elevate himself in some of the world rankings because you fought a, a very top fighter, or a half-decent fighter nonetheless. But um, his, well, he wanted to call out Jake Paul. Jake Paul's brother, Logan Paul, fought on the Mayweather fought against Mayweather last week. Um, a lot of people are criticizing this event. A lot of people are saying that this event was scripted, was a fast, was everything under the sun that was negative. However, Mike Michael Benson said it best. Okay. After all the deaths has settled, because it's been a week from then, after all the deaths has settled, yeah, these guys are not harming a single thing in regards to the sport. The only thing that they're harming is maybe the credibility and the integrity of the sport. But how do they, first of all, was you can only damage somebody's credibility if you have enough influence to be good with. If they are fighting themselves in the sport of boxing, how, first and foremost, how did they get, if sport boxing is a house, okay, I'm doing a window, but, but if the sport of boxing is a house, how did these guys get in through the front door? Great question, thanks for asking, yeah? Now let me tell you, these guys are quite, oh, Mayweather is a professional fighter, cool. Um, Logan Paul decided, well, he was eligible. For a boxer license why is he eligible for a boxer license great question yeah he basically signed up filled in the application form done the, a few tests you know with regards to just the fitness test you know etc etc he's eligible for, for a professional license and he just got it it's nice and easy i think you've got to pay a bit of fee for the license but it's like it's, you don't even need um you know like with driving tests yeah you, like you need a, like a 90 percent pass rate or something like that in order to get your driver license it's not like that guys yeah at certain places you don't mean you might not even have to do the test you just need to sign the deal all right cool uh sign the deal maybe pay a bit of a fee a little bit of a fitness test boom that's it like a medical imagine a medical football that's your exam colors um and then he's fighting the likes of me with her on sky sports cool sky what do i think of it i think for YouTube boxing, and I'm a fan of YouTube boxing, you know, but for YouTubers to fight boxing, you know, you get into the boxing ring, I am all for it. I'm all for it, man. If you're there to, to get your money and you're here to build up the profile of the sport, you can only do more good than you can do harm. I can't really, I can't really pinpoint the amount of harm you can actually do. It's very, very, the only harm you could do is maybe put the game into a district, you know, maybe shed a bad light on on the sport of boxing but that's really as much as bad things you can do but the good you could do and the audience you could drive and the um the the influence on the industry is get bigger and bigger and bigger which means it will sort of filter down down the line is a good idea you know even if one percent stay in it's still one percent more so it's still good where i have a problem is this the problem is um, is the other promoters look uh, I'm gonna say it straight I like Eddie Hearn Eddie Hearn I'm gonna chuck him into the mix as well Frank and bloody Bob Aram I'm gonna get to Bob Aram in a bit all of these guys criticizing this event saying that this is absolutely false etc there are bigger problems in boxing and the biggest problem in boxing is boxers are not fighting top level boxers simple yeah that breeds these guys coming in and you know people are so desperate for an event and entertainment they don't care if they see this it, it got to that point because you guys failed the boxing fans and failed to put on boxing like, like the huge boxing fights Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford as a prime example yeah that fight we talked about guys have lo and behold Errol Spence is fighting Manny Pacquiao who's Terence Crawford fighting god knows yeah Moreover, you've got the likes of a Tyson Fury versus AJ. We've been banging on about that for the last year. Everything was all good, signed, so delivered. Everything was right there on the on your on your lap. Yeah, we just got to do a standard dotted line. 
lo and behold while the cup is in boom yeah he cock blocks the event and then no and everything else is just cancelled because of politics and because of uh, promoters or um the the people behind administration bloody buffoons yeah I, I, like and, I, and and for for these types of people to turn around and go boom they are these guys are fucked big man we did it here floyd versus uh um, local paul get dragged out for one year and a half did we we did it here jake paul versus bloody ben ash here are oh, we in negotiation are oh, we in negotiation for a hot minute we we didn't hear that i didn't hear that as soon as they said oh, okay maybe let's fight for bro straight away the fight was made yeah all of these exhibition fights are getting made very very quickly why is it taking three times the amount of three times the amount of time to even negotiate the top fights for it not to even happen to begin with that part is absurd that part is absurd first and foremost i don't believe that fights should even be negotiated i think that the boxing industry should be all collated as to one and i think the matchup should be happening be like uh, similar to how football is all right you fight you yeah you face you you face it like a draw cool you you did it you did that and then we make it as a tournament you know what i mean there maybe every couple of years that's what i think but who what do i know um bob aram you know was criticizing this event this is a exception this is a fast bruv you are creating a stage of it let me let me just let me, let me, let me just you know word this correctly you are holding an event for Shoko Stevenson. Shoko Stevenson, big you up, yeah? Against a Fed. Against a guy who has who works for the police. Usually we're used to cab drivers and you know uh, postmen and social workers. Feds is a new like occupation on the boxing board, yeah? You're facing a guy who's uh, 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 for full time, he works as a as a in a police force in a, in his home country. Like and and you and and you're making that. I think it's uh, hopefully it's not pay per view in the US. I don't know. I don't live in there. Yeah, I'm from the UK. You don't know. Yeah, boom. You you that fight is at what on Sky Sports and Sky Sports as well. They signed a deal with Top Rank, and this is sort of the first event you guys want to show. Come on, then you uh, Bob Aaron was talking about how he he found it difficult promoted Terrence Crawford Terrence Crawford should be the most easiest person to promote you know why because his skill level is unbelievable you you all you got to do is do all of the talking because this guy does all of the action that's all you got to do promoting this guy is fairly fairly simple he doesn't speak much so doesn't the great Carly I don't hear the great Carly talking much I don't hear the great Carly talking much but oh, lo and behold, his profile is massive because of his silence. Charlie Chaplin didn't even open his mouth up. Yeah, but everyone knows Charlie Chaplin because he's the guy who doesn't speak. Look at look at um look at rap. Flips. Yeah. Like everyone in the scene knows flips don't talk too much. Yeah. But flips has got somewhat of a profile because he doesn't talk too much. If this guy doesn't speak well, why don't you, brother? Listen, listen. I'm, I'm not doing your job for you, yeah. I'm only just, I'm only, I'm only a little man, yeah. I'm no like, you know what I mean, there. I'm not a marketing guru, yeah. But I can, I can, if I can see something and I can see that you're doing something wrong, I'm always going to, you know, help out and and see where I can do better. You know what I mean, there. Um, so. With regards to top rank, they signed a four-year deal with Sky Sports. Of course, Eddie Hearn decided to cut and go to the zone. Um, I think they should, that, that that slot should go to Kel Solander, or whatever his name is. Um, the guy from, I um, forgot, what was it called? What are they called? Um, yeah, the guy from MTK. Okay, I think he's the MTK, Kel Solander. Um, he does the big Super 6, and he does the, oh, not Super 6, he does the World Boxing Super Series, and that breeds talent like Josh Taylor, Alexander Usyk and it you know some of the best fights that I've seen in my life with Josh Taylor versus Regis Progre and that was amazing that was during his tournament I think for the Muhammad Ali trophy and I believe that he should get that slot because he produces great shows and great matchups and the talent that he's got is, is unparalleled but I, yeah I, I think it should go to him 
listen, this HPV stuff is down the mud time, yeah? The zone is a new way forward. Listen, I'm not the zone representative. But if you could see the world go forward, the Netflixes of the world, Amazon Primes, it only makes sense, but pay per views, mm, you know the way there. But what do I do? Okay, this week we probably got <laughs> Shaka Steve. I'm not watching Shaka, Shaka Stevens, but maybe with the highlights afterwards, I wake it up. I, I could just, you know, damage my sleep for that. But it is what it is, yeah. And who else fighting? Uh, uh, we've got um, oh, Alan the Savage Babbage fighting this weekend as well. Yeah, one of my favourite fight is he's I'll overcome a shoulder injury. I can't wait to see what he produces this week. I think he's going for like a, a, a chewed up fight and then, and then going into a tougher fight later on. Who would I match him up against in a tougher fight? I might have to think about it and come back to you guys later because he's a very difficult person to um, to match up because of his, his weight, his height and how quickly he's going through his opponent. It's very difficult to match him up because what is he like? What is he about? 6'1", 200 pounds? He's basically like a cruiserweight. But he's fighting at heavyweight and knocking these guys out. Um, doesn't possess a high level of skill. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's difficult to match somebody like him. But, you know, he's always open to fighting and I like his enthusiasm to get into the ring and BAM! Not BAM, sorry. That's my mad But not... Um... So big up Alan the Savage Babbage, I think Lewis Ritz is fighting on the card as well. I don't, I can't remember anybody else that's fighting on the card, but um, can't wait for that card to sort of come back about the first card on in, in Newcastle um, for the zone, uh, the zone app. So should be interesting. See the production, see the elevation, because you know, match media is going to go to new levels. Boom! Very very exciting stuff going forward. Um, so hopefully, yeah, but thankfully for myself, my flu has gone right down to the bottom and I'm all good, okay? Um, so you're going to hear a lot from me in the next sort of couple of weeks, etc. Um, there's not a lot of boxing going on because of the Euros, but it is what it is, okay? Um, thank you for tuning into this video. Peace, love and prosperity, guys, and I'm going to catch you guys in a bit. Peace.